So you knew Tanner was going to have a game like that, right? He's been, you know what? It's been coming. I didn't know he'd do that. What did he go, four for four? Yeah. Yeah, three for three in that first half stretch where you took uh, the lead. I thought he and Ford and Dane were – I thought our bench was really good. But Tanner gave us a huge lift. We needed points. Our starting group wasn't scoring. He came in. Ford gave us a huge lift, scoring and just playing. And then uh, Kyle Carr gave us a lift, too. He, he did more defensively. And uh, Dane's Dane's Dane. So does he, it feel good that on a night when your starters weren't all clicking that you can get that kind of contribution from your absolutely. Uh, that's kind of where I think our team needs to be. I think we have good depth. That we a, a part of it's I got to play him, but uh, I have confidence in those guys, Ford and Tanner, and I mean they're freshmen. They're starting to play when we need them. So Kyle bounced back. I didn't think he's as good down at Loyola. Taking care of the ball, but he—that's what he—that's what he does for us. So he—he he made some good plays. Uh, Jock played well second half. Rayhan was good. And so we were—we were—we weren't bad at anything. We were—I uh, thought we were pretty good offensively after the first eight or ten minutes. Lately, I've been practicing pretty well. I've been shooting the ball well, so I had a lot of confidence going into the game. Um, it helps when you got great guys who get you the ball and you can find your open. Like Jock Landell found me a couple times on the perimeter. I was able to knock down the shot. But um, Coach B's giving me a lot of confidence. He's, you know, he's giving me a green light to shoot the ball. And um, today it just went in. It felt good. Not really. I, you know, I come in, I play my hardest. Um, if my shot's open, um, I'm taking it. And I feel good about myself. Um, tonight I got open a few times and I was able to knock down the shot. But, um, you know, I just play the game. I let the game come to me, and tonight it came to me, and I was able to take the most, make the most of it. We played some really good offensive games. I mean, our offensive numbers are tops in the country, so we obviously have had to play some other good games there. But uh, we have been choppy. I would, and I think that's where you're going. At. We're yes. nice. There's spurts in the game. We had, we had a little stretch of three or four games where we've been turning it over, including last game. We. We were better there tonight. We didn't turn it over. And we looked more like ourselves tonight. So I think we shot 57% at Loyola, and then we shot uh, 51 So those are good numbers. Um, we just, uh, for us, offensively, we just got to take care of the ball. We take care of the ball, we're hard to guard. And it's always going to be how, how, how consistent are we defensively. The most of it. Historically, Randy hasn't played a whole lot of guys off his bench, particularly as the season progresses. The way you guys are playing now, might he stay with four or five guys consistently getting minutes off the bench? I mean, if I keep hitting four threes a game, then maybe. <laughs> but um, in the end, if you go in and you do your job and, and you play well, you're going to play. Um, so it doesn't, I don't think it matters um, a whole lot, but. It's just really who's playing well, who's going to play, who's playing the best. I don't think we're anywhere near finished product. I think we get better as Tanner and Ford and Kyle start, you know, getting consistent in their roles. It'll make us a more consistent team. So they're doing their part. We just – our starters got to do their part when they start the game. Any New Year's resolutions? Just keep getting better. <laughs>